Hello, my name is Chip and I'm a paramedic instructor for the state of North Carolina. We're here today to talk a little bit about on how to set up for or organize a aeromedical evacuation, which pretty much is a medical helicopter to pick up someone that's in need. Typically the fire department or EMS department is going to set up the landing zone for several safety reasons. You need to make sure that the area is clear of any overhead debris. You also need to have contact with the helicopter server that's coming so you can communicate any of those dangers with them. You want at least a 100 by 100 foot open clear area to land the helicopter. Nighttime you want 200 by 200 feet. That may vary based on the size of helicopter coming to your area. Any overhead power lines, telephone poles, uh, radio towers, they all need to be taken into consideration before requesting aeromedical to a certain area. Also with that, if it's a nighttime operation or a daytime operation, you want to make sure you clearly mark the scene with either large traffic cones, which you can lay flat, one on each corner. They sell specialized strobe kits, or you can use large fire department box lights to illuminate the ground. You can actually draw an X on the ground with those flashlights. With all that in mind, again, this is a technical skill. It's very important that a trained professional sets up a landing zone. However, landing zones are very important in getting critical trauma and cardiac patients to a hospital a lot quicker than by ground. And this has been how to set up a landing zone for the basic person.